So this is like a cross-section diagram of the carburettor, if you like. If you were to cut it in half, it would look something like this, basically. And what I've done here, I've illustrated that we've screwed the high screw and the low screw right in till they stop. And what that's done is, that's prevented the fuel from going any further than this point. So it's come down and stopped there on both of them. Now opened each jet one full turn and it's opened up that gap slightly and now it's willing to accept fuel down this pipe, down both of these pipes. I've unscrewed this back even a little bit more because I could tell by how the engine was labouring it needed more fuel, it needed richening up slightly. So richening it up means giving it slightly more fuel. So unscrewing it slightly more, just, just a quarter of a turn if that, just richens it up with fuel that little bit more and allows more to come down. That of course allows more to be integrated in with the air there so that it can atomize in with the air. That's what the Venturi is for. And I can tell by adjusting that either out or in and listening to the engine, whether it's performing weak or whether it's performing quite strong or it seems to be choking up, I can adjust this accordingly and make the mixture either stronger, meaning richer, or weaker, meaning leaner. So leaner will be going in and richer will be coming out allowing more or less of this fuel. If I was to pull it out that little bit more, you can see there even more fuel is coming out now, absolutely more. So what I'm tending to get now, I'm starting to get is more fuel going in than air, quite a lot more fuel. And if, if I carry on like this, it'll affect the engine. It will be too strong a mix of fuel to air mixture and the engine will start to lag a little. So looking further, so looking when it's even more rich, so I've screwed it right out now and it's allowed a lot of fuel to come through, way too much. Much less air there than you have fuel. The engine can't cope with this amount of fuel by now. The engine starts to choke up. So if we screw it in and lean it up a little bit now so there's less fuel coming through, you can see we've got a better mix there. And if we keep going at that and just listen carefully, we can get the engine sounding its best screw that screw in too much. We can see there we're blocking it off and we're going lean. We've got less fuel coming down into the Venturi through the main jet. And what's happening is you've got more air coming in than fuel. So again, you're gonna get deficiencies in the way the engine works. Now we've got a real state here of really lean. So we screwed it right in. We've got a tiny amount of fuel coming through. And if we were to keep screwing the high screw in until it stops and blocks the fuel off completely, we haven't got an efficient amount of fuel there this is out one turn, and at the moment, it's not a bad mix there of air and fuel, so the engine might work quite well. So if we look here, we've opened that slightly, that there's more fuel coming through because we've turned this out. So more fuel's coming down there. So we can see here then it's getting a little richer now, and it'll have a different tone to the engine. So if we screw it out a little bit further, the low screw, we can see now it's getting quite rich. I mean, if we were to screw this in, to make it a little leaner. Obviously we'd get less fuel going in than air, so it would be a weaker mix and a lot leaner. So now screwing the low screw in even further, we can see we're getting to a really lean state. So going back now to an efficient right amount of air, the right amount of fuel, that's how it all works in theory. And this is the carburetor now working at its full capacity and working how it should. Obviously there are variations in the way carburetors are made. This is how I've drawn this to try and basically illustrate what I was trying to explain, and I hope I've explained it okay. Thank you for listening. Please, if you have any questions, please contact me. I will always be there to answer them. And thank you for those that have subscribed. And I would like, please, if you could, uh, to subscribe to me, and I will be putting on some more content. Thank you very much. Bye.